Hello and welcome to Knife Delights and welcome to another Saturday Stockman Stampede. That great open tag started by Brother Terry of Terry's Knives and Man Stuff. Thanks Terry for this great open tag. I'm going to stop jabbering and we're going to get into delving into the age old debate of the Buck 301 Stockman versus the Buck 303 Cadet which would be the best EDC option for you. Well, contender number one here is the Buck 303 Cadet. Nickel silver bolsters, black Velox inlays there. And this is their standard shield, the knife cutting the bolt with a hammer. And uh, yeah, we'll just open this up so you have a look-see at this. And then we're going to look at contender number two, the 301 Stockman, which is just a full-size Stockman. And we'll get this one opened up for you. There we go. Now for years, both of these knives, both of these models have gained a loyal following among collectors and as well as, you know, everyday users. But let's look at some of the differences here. I just wanted to break in here for just a moment. Uh, give you a little bit of insider information. Let's face it, times are tough. Not everybody can afford a USA made knife. We all, uh, we all love them. We all want to buy them as much as we can. But I'm hearing it all the time in the comments of, you know, that's just a little bit too hard on my wallet. So I wanted to share with you the fact that Buck does have a budget line of what would be the equivalent of the 301 Stockman and the 303 Cadet. So here we have a, what is the 373 Trio, and this would be comparable to the 303 Cadet. And you can see this is in just a plain wood grain. And here we have the same knife in burl wood, and they do a beautiful job with their burl wood. Also available is the 371, which is the equivalent or, or co what's comparable to the 301 Stockman. The 371, and this is in burl wood again. And Buck does, uh, again, the burl wood uh, covers are just beautiful. Now these knives are made in China, and they're going to run you in a range anywhere from maybe $20 to $36 somewhere depending on where you shop and then here's a 371 the full-size stockman with a great jig bone now here's the insider tip like on this jig bone one here this was being sold in Walmart and I'm always every time I have to go to Walmart I swing by and check out the knife case every now and then they're they're wanting to get rid of some of their models and open up shelf space for something new so like this one here with the jig bone I've seen them as low as $15 on clearance and I snagged up whatever they had left in stock I think three or four of them they made make wonderful gifts and uh, so there there's your tip always check your Walmart see if they're carrying any of these budget lines of uh, buck slip joint knives and uh, check there often. You never know when they might be on sale. So once again, sometimes we don't want to lay out all the money for a USA made knife, yet we still want a, a decent uh, you know, pocket knife to carry. These are excellent options. Uh, the one difference, main difference is these are made in 420J2 steel rather than the Buck standard 420HC. So you're getting a little less expensive uh, blade material but you're saving a whole lot of money so just another option for you perhaps before we explore the differences let's look at the similarities of these two knives now buck knives are known for their high quality and i believe both of these are very high quality knives and some great features but they both have black velox which is similar to delrun just a little different chemical composition but it's a very uh, tough material and lasts for a long time. They're both made in the USA. 
they have the forever warranty uh, you know bucks forever warranty that's one of the best knife warranties out there today they both have 420 HC steel that's buck standard steel and uh, it is uh, well buck is well known for their heat treatment uh, let me see here we also have other knives here two others in the series and these are rosewood inlays and the shield is different it has the blue buck shield there just a little fancier knife uh, th these have the brass bolsters instead of the nickel silver bolsters right there so here's another option and before I go any further I just want to say that to the best of my knowledge the 301 Stockman and 303 Cadet are the only slip joint knives that Buck still makes here in the USA. So now we'll kind of get into the differences and basically the big differences are just the, the size and the weight of the knives. They both feature the same blades as far as the clip point. But the 303 Cadet is three and a quarter inches closed and the 301 is three and seven eighths inches closed. The 303 has a two and a half inch clip. Take a look at that clip point. And a one and three quarter inch sheep's foot. And everybody's favorite blade. This one comes in at a one inch and 11 sixteenths, the spade blade. Now on the 301, it has a closed length of, well I said that 3 and 7 eighths, <laughs> but the main blade is the clip blade here, comes in at 2 and 3 quarters inches. It has a 2 inch sheep's foot and a 2 inch spade blade. Take a good look at that clip there. And they do have a uh, this one here has a flat grind. Now this one was made in 1995 and the current production Buck uses a hollow grind on all of their knives so if you got one today it would probably have a hollow grind on that one too. And then just the crescent or cat's eye nail neck. Now we'll get into the weight because the size of the knife and the weight of the knife is a, a big determining factor for many in their EDC carry. Is it going to fill up the pocket too much? Is it going to weigh down my pocket with all the other things I have in my pocket? So the, the uh, 303 here comes in at 1.9 ounces and the 301 is a full one ounce heavier coming in at 2.9 ounces. Well, another determining factor for many is the cost, or what's the price? What do these things run? Well, this, these prices are off the Buck website, so you can uh, check your favorite knife outlet. I'm sure they have a, uh, probably 10 to 15 percent uh, discount on all of these, but I always like to use uh, the MSRP when I can. And we'll see here that on the 303, that it comes in at $69.99 on the Buck website. And the Rosewood model comes in at $73.99. So you're going to pay, what, four bucks more for this one here? Uh-oh, I'm doing online math in my head while shooting a video. Boy, that's tough. <laughs> anyway, and the 301... It comes in at uh, $74.99 for the Velox version and comes in at $78.99. Well, let's just do a little bit of side-by-side -side comparisons just to give you a little better idea on our size and our weights here. So on the right is the 301 Stockman and on the left the 303 Cadet. You can definitely see the Cadet is smaller. Uh, the width Yep, a little bit what the 301 is just a little bit wider. So it kind of comes down to what your preference is. Now I know some people really like the 301 because it, it really gives you a good uh, firm grip here. 
I wear a large to extra large size glove and you know that's good four fingers on there that's a handful of knife and on the cadet as you can see it's more of a three fingered although you can kind of get that fourth finger on there but it's more of a three finger knife so it kind of depends on what your cutting chores are what you're going to be using this knife for sometimes uh, people like to carry one larger like modern knife for their heavy jobs and then have something a little smaller in their pocket like this uh, to take care of their other small chores and others just want to carry one knife so they kind of compromise and they'll go with the full size 301 here and uh, it, with this big long blade here you're going to get most of your cutting jobs done and the advantages of the stockman again is you have three blades three different blades if one gets dull, you've always got a sharp one there, or you should have a sharp one. Keep your knife sharp. But you do have three different blades to choose from. So please, let me know down in the comments below what would you prefer, or what do you have. Do you actually have a 301 or a 303? Share your experiences with the rest of the cutlery world here. And until next time, have a very delightful day.